good morning everybody. It's Sunday morning in uh, Haparanda, Sweden. Just doing my walk rounds, just checking everything's um, as it should be. But, uh, nobody's been near us through the night. It's been a very quiet night. I do apologise if it's a bit windy here, because it is windy around this side. Oh. Yeah, very quiet, nobody bothered us. And, uh, we've got another four and a half hours now up to Moronio. We're, we're stopping to have a break on the way up. Because when we get there, we need to place a delivery address. And um, we don't want to be sitting and having a break when the guy turns up, do we? There's Angie there, look behind them. And um, yeah, so we want to be ready to go as soon as the guy turns up um, to take us to our delivery. So this is where we were last night. And oh, there's a truck coming in. And he's another transporter. That guy's going to where we're going, to Moronio. But uh, he didn't come via Gothenburg, he's come um, Helsinki. Um, he's, uh, yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's just going to get his fuel up. So typical, nice. typical, isn't it, eh? You know, you come here and do your start off vlog and someone turns up. <laughs> but, he, but he is German, he speaks a little bit of English. So it's time for us to go and do a little bit more. You ready, hun? Yep. Right, let's go do it then. To this garage for a rendezvous with our escort up to the place we've got to deliver. And then um, that's it, we're at Maroon at Muonio again. He can get round, he'll have good luck on that. This is the bloody stupidest thing. So, um, that's it. I don't know what time that guy's going to be here. Well, you now I've got our escort, he's in front of us. Well, it's not actually an escort, it's a pickup. But, um, so he's now taking us to where we've got to go. Um, I know where I've got to go, but they've got to escort us in because it's a little bit of um, an awkward site to get to over the hill and that. And you've got an escort, they keep us safe, don't they? So I went in and out of here last time without any winter tyres or chains or anything, so hopefully we'll be alright this time. A bit of luck. Right, here we go, this is the um, naughty bit. Delivery done. Mission accomplished, eh, hun? Very quick turnaround. In and That's out. Good. Yeah. In and out. Uh, we're back at Moonio now, where we stayed in a few vlogs. Well, the last series of vlogs, actually, because there's not been anything in between. And they've still got a Christmas lights up, look. Um, yeah, we stayed here for five days, didn't we? Oh, it was alright. 
So we're just going to go across here and go to the supermarket. Get some cereal. It's a shame the Swiss calf is so expensive, otherwise, we could have paid her a visit. Can we? Still good. Yeah, maybe. 45 minutes, an hour, or whatever. There was trucks in here before, weren't there? It does seem weird. We didn't actually drop the truck in here, did we? I think we're just back down there, I think. That's the shopping done. <laughs> yes. All of a loaf of bread and some cereal. Aye. But it's weird to be back here again, isn't it? Yeah, it's Aye? a bit strange, isn't it? Yeah, especially parking the truck in here as well. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't usually go to Asda. <laughs> and park your truck. Well, it ain't normally a room and they don't let you in there, do they? So we want to get out over here, really. Don't want to go over to the Swiss Caf. I expect it's going to be windy, isn't it? Yeah. Right. And it's just starting to snow as well. Uh, those of you who watched our last series of vlog, you'll, vlogs, you should recognise this area if you've watched them. <laughs> There's the old truck over there, look. Old Faithful. Never let us down, never misses a beat. If you look after it, it looks after you. Yeah, it's been keeping right. us alive. Yes. Isn't it? If you don't abuse the equipment, it won't abuse you back, will it? No. So we'll go over and see, what's her name, Agnes? Agnes. Let's go and see old Agnes in the Swiss calf. See, <laughs> see we even know the locals' names, don't we? Because we spent uh, five years here. Five years? <laughs> five days. <laughs> Let's go and see our mate Agnes. I bet she won't be in there. It'll be some old bloke, I expect, that doesn't even know us. <laughs> she, she, remember? she will, because it's not often you get drivers come in with their wives, is it? Seven weeks ago, wasn't it? So I bet she, I bet she remember. We come in with that mad Lithuanian bloke. <laughs> oh, him. That bloke. He did well, though, our mate Geddy. It was dark when we came. Yeah. Before, wasn't it? They just stayed that old Mercedes over there. Oh, God. They still got all their Christmas decorations. Out. That bloody deer was there when we came in last time, yeah, wasn't it? Was it? Dark, I remember. Look at it. Bet time they took that down. Yeah, look at that. The old thing. <laughs> right, let's go and see old Agnes then. Happy with a latte now. Huh? Cafe latte, look at that. Yeah, but we haven't had anything today. No. <laughs> what do you use that for then? Huh? It's a rug or something. Yeah, we all would really want that. Would you? And you got antlers there, look. That was nice. A nice little chat with our lovely Agnes, didn't we? It was very nice. Talking about people being nice and everything. She's lovely. Kind. Kind. Finnish people are really nice, friendly. Well, she's Swiss, but... but she's Swiss. And this is really good to win here. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, she's Swiss. Yeah. Anyway, we'll talk about this in the truck. We're just going to walk down here a little bit, because if you look over there through the trees, and where the church is, that's where we stayed last time in our little house. Can you see the trucks there? And the the um, we went up to the church. Fond memories, eh, hun? You see the main house. Yeah. And some of the little ones. And I think we've gathered another load of snow on the back. Look. Look at the number plate. <laughs> look at it. Look at that. It's like a bubble. What's going on here? Look. Look at that, and it's, it's soft. It's all 
Look, that, yeah, because that blows down, and and that's, it, it, tur it turbulates. But isn't it funny how that, like that's built, built up like that? How weird. God, blimey. Oh, wow. How weird. So hopefully when that lock comes off, it'll clean the back door off. Yeah. That is strange. Look at her go. <laughs> I like them sledgy things, they're cool, aren't they? You could do that and I'd sit on the little seat. Yeah. Why me do it? Why not me <laughs> sit on the little seat? So anyway, now we haven't got the wind. Um, I haven't, I don't know about you. Um, yeah, that was very nice you seeing our are. friend Agnes in the Swiss calf, wasn't it? Very nice, she was, she was happy to see us and all yeah. that old malarkey. Remembered us as well. Yeah, from last time. It's only over there, isn't it? Only over the top of there, yeah. And um, we said we'll see you in a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but you never know with this job, variety, isn't it? And now I'm a seasoned ice trucker, look. Oh, it's me that keeps getting sent back, because I've done it. I've proved it to it. No disasters here, thank you. Right, should we better crack on? We better add. <laughs> right then, time to crack on. Uh, mission accomplished. See you later, Muonio. In the Swiss cafe over the road. The little Agnes. Our friend Agnes. Bye bye. After 200 yards, turn left, then turn right. So now we've got. Um, get out of here, obviously. A bit of I suspect, if you can't even see it. Um, we've now got a just under a 10 hour drive down back into Sweden. And we're going to. Is this a jump? Oh, this is. I've got to give my ear, and I think. Well, there's nobody about, so I don't know, does it? Um, yeah, just under a 10 hour drive down into Sweden to a place called Slagnas for our reload back to the UK. Uh, that's 366 miles. Um, there's now, our. Yeah, it's sharp. Good impact, you know. Like. Yeah, so um, no, it's good that trip. No dramas with the tyres either. Who needs snow chains? I carry my load. I don't pull it like an Arctic. So that's that then. We're now um, back in Aparanda, where we stayed last night. Back in Sweden, um, we've had a really good run down from Muonio. Hour, not hour, God blimey, that would be a good run. Three hours, 35 minutes to here. It took a little bit longer because we got stuck up behind a wide load. Um, you might actually see a little bit of that in the road footage that uh, is gonna go in. Um, so we're gonna go on now about another hour and a half to where we've got to turn off um, to go towards uh, Slagnas and there's a I think it's a Q8 garage there we're gonna go and park in there Angie's just gone in to use the facilities before we leave we just had a lovely uh, cup of coffee and um, cheese sandwich and um, yeah everything's gone well today it was really nice to go back to Muonio to see, uh, see Agnes in her little cafe she was pleased to see us actually she only met us once I suppose you don't often get a couple going in there and um, she didn't ask about Getty though because he was in there with us last time but anyway so um, yeah that's good all, all well and good um, what I'm planning on doing with the vlogs in future is because um, of these sort of trips there's uh, a lot of road footage there's a lot of scenery um, I'm going to put little snippets during the main body of the vlog but at the end of the vlog, I'm going to put a longer piece of all the road footage, um, obviously to music, in the final edit at the end. Um, so if those of you that don't really like the road footage or, or the music I use, you're quite welcome to leave when I say goodbye. 
or you can carry on and watch the whole vlog. That would be nice if you did, you know, because I appreciate the hard work that I put into it. But saying hard work, I don't think these vlogs, <laughs> you know, I, I'm my own worst critic. Um, this series of vlogs isn't going to be as good as the last trip out here because I've shown you most of what's happened before. Um, so it's just a little taster again and just to come along for the ride with us basically. So um, yeah, so if that's, you know, give us your comments. If you don't like it at the end, please let me know. But it give those of you the option to go and do something else when I finish. And if you say if you want to watch the, the scenery at the end and listen to a bit of music, you're quite welcome to. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I might even make um, the editing a little bit easier if I can, because when you're getting the right music for the for the road footage, it takes quite a bit of effort. So if I can do just tiny little bits within just to click, just to cut the clips up of me talking and waffling and all that old rubbish. And then at the end you'll get the full full lot. So you'll see little bits through the through, through the vlog and um you can uh, experience the road stuff after she comes, look. In a woolly hat and a pink coat. Wave. <laughs> she don't even know look, she's not even looking at what's going on. I better say hello to her, she'll get the hump. Here she comes, look. Hello. There she is. In your woolly hat and your pink coat. I've just been telling about future plans with the vlog to make life a little bit easier for all of us viewers and me with putting the uh, road stuff at the end. So, um, yeah, anyway, we've got to crack on. We've had uh, 53 minutes here now and we want to get go and get parked up, don't we? So we've got another hour and a half or so to do and we'll see you shortly. Now turn right, then turn left. Oh no, nursery chat makes her mind up. There we go, look, just around the corner. Oh, there's room for a little one. After 200 yards, room for a little turn one. Left. You need to stop. If not, you can go in the bus stop, look. <laughs> that's going to be room for a little one. This is an unmanned one. Oh, this is alright. Everything great. Is that an island? You have reached your destination. Thank you very much, Jane. Got so tucked up there somewhere, can't we? Oh, we're gonna have an up fart, look. There's an in fart. That's a bit dangerous, an in fart, isn't it? Where can you see it? Even the pumps. Oh, where do you reckon's best? One side there. Or... That's it. There's us for the Now one. turn left. Oh, after all that rattling. What's that then? I bet that car's here, ain't open. Right, that's that then. We're done. Um, well, you know that anyway. We've had a reasonable evening, a little bit of vegetable and beef soup, and um, a couple of drinkies, and uh, what else? Oh, a bit of editing. Took the files off the camera, and if you actually, I'll put a little clip in now. This pair of Herberts that you see in the clip. She parked her Mercedes where we parked up behind her and she jumped in his van and they disappeared for three hours. And when they come back, they were sitting in the van for about 20, 25 minutes saying goodbye. So what's all that about then? What do you reckon, Ange? Just draw your own conclusions, I said. A bit of malarkey. I bet there's a bit of malarkey going on there that wasn't quite right, well, don't you? It looked a bit dodgy to me. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that's that. So they obviously went off somewhere and done something somewhere else. They came back and, and then they went, went off their separate ways. Opposite didn't ways, opposite didn't they? Ways. Yeah, because they're only sat in a really quiet self-service. You can see it in the background through Angie, look. It's only a self-service 
petrol station with not a lot else here so yeah it it's still goes no other on. reason to come here apart from petrol no or leaving your car here because you want to hide something anyway that's that we're going to bed we're off up to Slagness in the morning we've broke the back of this trip now we've done well it's been over 700 k's every day and tomorrow we're going to have a little bit of a lie in because we can because we've gained so much time we've got further down than what we're supposed to have got down we're not supposed to have got down but what we thought we would have got down didn't we saved a load of time at the beginning didn't we yeah we saved over an hour going not via stockholm, stockholm. so that's it right bedtime what is the time quarter to um, quarter 11 to, quarter to 10 local quarter to 11 uk is it no Qu the no other you've way got it the wrong that's what i'm saying i'm looking at the clock and it's quarter to 11 uk so that's no. that's quarter to ten quarter UK. To, oh, it's quarter that's, to nine. Anyway, UK. we're going to bed now. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Thanks for joining us. Thumbs up and all that malarkey. We'll see you later. Good night. Bye.